Hello and uh, welcome to this quick tutorial. Uh, working in both Nuke 7 and uh, Mocha Pro. My name is John Sillings. I work for a company called Rockus Digital Media Entertainment based in Soho in London. Uh, and we are going to look at basically replacing these uh, um, signs on the side of a bus with uh, our poster for an upcoming gaming project called Grump's Quest. Okay, so this was uh, shot by us using a Canon XHA1, uh, which I knew wouldn't have too much lens distortion. So I didn't worry too much about uh, um, basically doing that for the tracking, uh, and removing the distortion uh, for tracking. Um, so after I basically put out the plates for actual tracking, I then took it into um, uh, Mocha Pro. Now Mocha Pro works as a planner tracker. Basically the side of this bus uh, uh, is uh, a plane uh, and obviously the logical plane to be tracking with a sort of good data is firstly this um, uh, the logo itself which is what we're going to replace and then also I added the London United text because that seemed like a quite sort of nice uh, um, set of information which I can use just in case this slipped and it actually uh, proved uh, to give me an excellent track. So that was the easy part so once I've got that data I was able to uh, then start moving on to uh, replacing the sky. Uh, now this was where it became a bit more troublesome. As you can see here, there's quite a few tracks for first the buildings and what called new buildings. And basically what's nice about the uh, Mocha uh, workflow uh, going between um, uh, Mocha and Nuke is that it's quite easy to jump back and forth, uh, which is what I do a lot of. So I did some initial building tracking uh, um, which I knew was not 100%, but it was just kind of like, let's move quickly, let's see what we can get away uh, get away with uh, and see what we need to do, and we can always jump back if we need to. And obviously, I had to do that and track a lot of the new buildings there, um, especially this one, because it's got to be quite uh, troublesome in the track. And it just really was a, a sense of how much time we had to do. We, we were moving very quickly, um, but I had enough time to go back and, and basically tidy up the tracks. So, uh, a couple of ways of exporting data, um, depending on what you want to use it for. Firstly, our uh, logo data we would export as a Nuke corner pin, and we've got various other ways of exporting, but obviously we're working in Nuke. And then we've also got our shape data, which we can use uh, for alpha channels, and that we're exporting as a Roto Paint. Okay, so uh, back here in Nuke, um, we uh, will just go through the pipe and see what we've been doing. Now, um, the other thing we need to do was basically uh, is just kind of just do a little bit of a blur of some people um, just because obviously we didn't get full um, permission uh, of shooting in the middle of Oxford Circus. It would have been pretty much impossible. So uh, what we got here is using the Nuke um, uh, 7 great new tracker, uh, Track His Face, which then gives me this transform data. And then using a very simple BZA, um, I can then basically... Uh, take the transform uh, of that here and I'm just going to pop this out just to make this easier and then using uh, shift and left hand I can drag that data over there and you can see, you can see that data matches uh, and basically this is a very sort of very quick a simple way of doing things um, it can also be a bit dirty uh, uh, around the edges um, because uh, it's not an exact science uh, so we can get away with um, a lot Okay, the sky. Um, we used an original, a different sky to start with, but then we decided we want to use this sky, which is from uh, a shot in the, uh, uh, basically in the, um, in the uh, uh, Kickstarter video. First of all, denoising it just to remove uh, all that uh, noise that's going on, and uh, using uh, transform and reformatting that, uh, and then basically a tracked uh, part of. As you can see here, uh, part of the uh, um, the buildings, and that gave me a kind of track to basically bring as the camera turns, bring the sky in. Um, again, uh, I did a couple of tracks of different places, and I, you know, I urge you just to try different places. Uh, you see what uh, result you get, but that seemed to give me the good, res uh, like the best result. Uh, and certainly, I also uh, did do a little bit of cheating every so often just to, just to kind of uh, use the track so you can use that data and that probably gets you like sort of 80 percent of the way there and then just tidy it up after the fact uh rotos now um i would say golden rule is uh, basically label everything which is what i've not done here but if you go into it 
Uh, Mocha Pro is great at basically, uh, because I've named everything in Mocha Pro, it, it keeps that uh, naming convention in, within there. So there's all my various different mats. And we go down and garbage mat. And what I also like to do is, is do any repairs um, I need to do in Nuke really. So some of this is, is sort of a little bit hand roto there. Just, 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 just kind of tidy up some shots. And then that basically is pre-multi to give me the sky. A little bit of blur. And then that's merged and comped over. Um, and I've got a little color correct in there just to, just to sort of ease the uh, levels and that. Uh, and also using a light wrap, which I then uh, basically plus on just to give us, uh, you know, just to comp it in there a little bit better. Again, it's quite interesting actually, because uh, even though I spent a lot of time on the sky, uh, you don't kind of look at it, I'd say. I mean, obviously, after probably watching it a thousand times, you start looking at the sky, but people are mainly concentrating on the moving bus, uh, which is quite good. So on to the bus anyway. Uh, here we have our logo for Grumps Quest, our forthcoming Kickstarter game. Uh, feel free to check that out. And uh, first of all, I've basically taken a grunge map and just basically put that over there. Uh, just merge that slightly on just to start breaking it up. Lots of color correction going on, bit of saturation. A um, bit of also uh, what we've got is animated uh, um, uh, color corrections. And if you look at the plate, you'll see that there's, as the bus goes around the corner, there's lots of uh, sort of moving uh, reflections of light and changing intensity. So that kind of just replicates that. And it actually does sell it really well. It's sometimes like it's that one little thing that, that's quite easy to do, uh, quite quick to do, and um, basically completely sells the shot. A um, little bit of edge blur, and then also a little bit of chromatic aberration, uh, just to kind of dirty everything up and make it sit in the plate, uh, hopefully. Uh, then this process is, is repeated. Uh, obviously not so much on, on this one because it's uh, very quick and, and we actually end up cutting this from the from the shot anyway, but that was quite a simple uh, replacement of the sign there and the, the Abbey Road thing for all our Beatles fans in America. And then the far bus one, which is down here. And that again is just we just use that you can see where it's quite flared out there. So that's we're just we're just trying to match basically what's going on. That, that you don't really see it, you get a sense of it that it's there. And, and I guess if you look closer, you can see it's kind of the same thing. So again, it's this is very subtle thing just to sell the fact. Now um, I'm basically uh, sort of piping down my alpha um, down here, and there's my sky one, and then also we got our one from the uh, from the buses. And then we're using those to mask in uh, some grain. Now I've taken, a, I've used the regrain node, and basically uh, that gives us um, some information. Let's turn my alpha off. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, that gives us uh, a basic, a basic uh, grain, um, which then I, I tend to when I'm setting stuff up is is uh, just to use a grade uh, node on this uh, set to ludicrous red or whatever color I feel like. Uh, and then you can really see where you are actually affecting. Uh, it's, it's handy. And then, uh, you know, obviously label stuff. So that's just called check grain. Uh, and then we know, make sure we obviously turn it off because we don't know when the final comp. A little bit noise on there. And then basically that is all put together for the final comp. Reformat, a clamp, and then we find a writer out at whatever format we want. So, well, I hope you've um, uh, enjoyed uh, this quick tutorial. Uh, feel free to check out um, our website at www.rockhiss.co.uk uh, and check out our upcoming game, Grumps Quest. Thank you.